Hi everyone, this is Sanjeev Venkatram and welcome back to Business Insights. I would like to spend the next 10 minutes talking about part 4 of applying the Microsoft platform to the manufacturing space. Note that this is especially applicable to the higher education vertical. In part 4 now and in this video, I would like to highlight three key points. One, the relative ease of setting up real-time control of electromechanical components using Microsoft Excel, which is part of Office 365. In this specific case, I control a DC motor from Microsoft Excel and Arduino Uno using pulse width modulation. Two, the ease of leveraging the immensely talented Microsoft developer community across the globe. And three, the ease of using Microsoft Teams to collaborate across various functional groups as well as student communities. Before I get into the demo, let me spend a few minutes talking about the need for real-time control of electromechanical components. Oftentimes, these devices are controlled either mechanically with switches or with a code base that requires manual input, like a timer. In this case, I use Microsoft Excel an everyday tool to control the device and so eliminating the need for mechanical switches or even manual inputs to a code. An easy way to leapfrog your journey to AI-led control. With this, let's get right into the demo and I have three parts to it. First, we look at the setup. What we have here is a 5 volts DC motor with two pulleys acting as low. This motor is connected to a motor driver, the L298N, and this takes 5 to 35 volts as input. In turn, the driver is connected to A, an external power supply, and in this case, I've stepped down the voltage from 12 volts to 5 volts using a step-down transformer. And B, the Arduino Uno board. The Arduino is then connected to a PC using a USB cable. What you now see is a hardware wiring diagram. The key here is to note that we are driving the motor using pulse width modulation or PWM, which we'll talk about in a minute. There are many ways one could drive motors and a commonly used technique is PWM. Let's get a brief overview. We open Microsoft Excel and look at a couple of charts. What you see here is a wave or a pulse. The height of the pulse in this case is the amount of voltage applied to the motor. The x-axis is time. In this case, time period for one pulse is 2 milliseconds given that the frequency is 500 hertz. Now there are three ways to control the motor using this pulse. One, change the amplitude or the height of the pulse. Two, change the frequency or the time period. And three, control what is called the duty cycle, which is the time for which one applies the voltage during the peak cycle of a wave. This is a great way of controlling the speed of a motor we'll use this technique. Now the Arduino allows us to control the duty cycle digitally by mapping the zero to two milliseconds of time to a digital zero to 255 units. So a 50% duty cycle would correspond to approximately 127 digital units or one millisecond. Now that we know the hardware and the driving technique, Let's look at the code. We need two sets of code here. One is the Arduino sketch that talks to the PC board. Let's look at this. What you see here up front is a library that allows Arduino to talk to Microsoft Excel. This is where we leverage the immense strength of the Microsoft community. This library was developed by Roberto Volgolio and I have a link to his post. Very thankful to him. With this, we declare a few variables to catch the PWM and Arduino pen assignments. I've commented the code for ease of use. We then set up the streaming environment 
and we use a serial port on the PC. We further call out the output pins. Note that the use of the enable pin B in this case is what we use for PWM. We then run the loop and here is where we use the input from Excel as a variable to run PWM. As this is captured within the loop, we can control the speed real time. We further get inputs from Excel and use respective parameters to change the direction of rotation of the motor. And that's it on the Arduino side. Now looking at Excel, we use sliders to PWM the digital value between 0 to 127 as highlighted before. I've intentionally used 50% of the max duty cycle as best practice. Note the corresponding time for which the voltage is applied as well. Moving on, we use another slider to control the direction of rotation of the motor, 0 for clockwise and 1 for counterclockwise. The change in duty cycle is captured by the chart here. As we move the slider to change the digital speed input, the pulse width or the time for which the voltage is applied to the motor changes which energizes the motor coils for the specific time and hence runs the motor. With this, let's run the code and I've captured a video of the system in play. As you can see, we select the clockwise direction of motor turn and slowly increase PWM to start and run the motor. We change speed by modulating the pulse. We then stop the motor assembly real time change direction to counterclockwise and then start the motor again. This gives the ability to control the motor real time. We could run other electromechanical elements such as stepper motors, water pumps, etc. much the same way. A natural extension of this setup is to measure the speed of the motor and stream this into Excel as well. Now depending on the load that the motor has to carry, speed changes. Now using speed as an input, we can change PWM to control the motor in a way we desire. Further, we could test the relationship between our PWM signal and motor speed under a variety of loading conditions. We then use machine learning to let the motor autocorrect the PWM to stay true to design requirements. This will be for a future video given time. Now, as a means of collaboration with different student groups or engineering teams, we could use the outstanding Microsoft Teams tool. So let me bring this up. As you can see, Microsoft Teams has many tabs, one of which is a conversation tab. We see a video call icon down below here, so let's get into one. This gives me the ability to meet right away as I bring this up. I can share my entire screen if need be and share my code or prototype, etc., real time with my teams and get immediate feedback. And these meetings can be recorded. One could also use the IM or chat window without ever having to leave the app. I trust this gives you a view as to how one can control electromechanical components real time using everyday tools like Microsoft Excel which is part of the great Office 365 family. Further, leverage the outstanding Microsoft community worldwide with ease. And finally, as to how one can collaborate and share information with colleagues and groups using Microsoft Teams. Thank you very much. Please note that the views and opinions expressed in this video are mine and do not stay to reflect those of Microsoft.